you get to look at many types of blood cells in class and you'll see this poster in class as well. Now up at the top, erythrocytes, pink, fairly easy to recognize and lots and lots of them on your red blood cell slide. Platelets look great in this example. They are these purple regions that have arrows pointing to them. However, keep in mind that it'll be hard to see that on our slides that clearly. Now, erythrocytes, red blood cells, platelets or thrombocytes, and then we have several different types of leukocytes. And those will include neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, lymphocytes, and monocytes. And they give us a few different examples of all of these on this poster. Neutrophils are known for having a nucleus that can be polymorphic, um, meaning it can really change shape. This one is where you have one all together and kind of in a C shaped, but it's still relatively thin. Next to that we have a nucleus in two parts and it's kind of like that C broken in half. Here in three, here in four, and maybe even more on this one. So all of these are different examples of neutrophils. Eosinophils will look a little bit like that because they have two here and you've got two different regions here. But note these regions are relatively round. They're dark in color like the nucleus in the neutrophil, but we have all these little red dots. And this is a very important part of recognizing that eosinophil. It really should have that dark coloration to it all throughout. Also think about their size relative to those red blood cells in the background. Our next two are basophils and lymphocytes. And what you're going to see with these two in general is that they are dark and it looks like the nucleus takes over the entire cell. Now that's not quite the case here. One difference between these is basophils tend to be larger in size and they are dark all the way to the edge of the cell. Now when you're looking at the lymphocyte, let's see if we can get closer down here, we can see a thin rim of cytoplasm here and here. Now and as some of these get larger, our cytoplasm is more visible in a thicker region here and here as well. So the nucleus tends to be about the size of the red blood cell. The amount of cytoplasm can vary around it and that's how you separate. The basophil, you're not going to see that cytoplasm around. There are granules around it that darken the entire cell. Monocytes also can vary a little bit like a neutrophil. Now we've got a very large nucleus. It's kind of C-shaped here but very bulbous in that middle region. The cytoplasm extends all throughout here. The shape is a little bit different here, but big thick nucleus and that C-shaped. This almost looks a little bit like an embryo, but still big thick nucleus. And quite a bit of variation in here. When you start to think about size though, this is the largest and you could fit several red blood cells inside this one monocyte cell. 